Hi guys, so it's here and welcome back to another TV series review. So, it's been a while since I've properly done an actual TV series review. Even though I have done other series reviews, it's great to sit and actually do one. I have already pre-recorded and already uploaded one video of my Law & Order SVU, which is season 17. I just got to edit all of 18. And then, with all of these other reviews like NCIS, Pretty Little Liars, um, the originals, the Vampire Diaries, and One Tree Hill, that I will be working on. And if you're wondering, huh, what the hell, go to my um, Mark Talk for April and also for May, and that should properly explain what I meant by that. But, anywho, welcome to another review. Shall we get to it? So this one is going to be Zumbo's Just Desserts. Now, this um this particular show was actually created by um Channel well, Network Seven, which is an Australian network here, um based on Australian TV. Um now um basically the show is about making really amazing, exquisite um desserts um with Zumbo, and he is the most incredible dessert maker here in Australia and um the things that this man comes up with is like mouth dropping and um when I finished this yesterday I actually did finish this on um actual yesterday so it was Monday here in Australia that I did finish the series but I just wasn't in the right headspace to be able to review this but um it was incredible. You get to meet um, Zumbo herself. You got to meet got to meet Rachel. Now she's an amazing, um, beautiful girl who's actually from London, and I have am following her now. Um, who is who? Both are the judges. Now we also get to meet Gigi, who is also um, Zumbo's um, assistant in in the kitchen. And, um, basically, whoever won this particular show, they get a 100,000 prize, prize money. So, I'm going to go through, um, all of the contestants, just so you know who they are. So, we have Wendy, um, we had Peter, who I thought was seriously so cool. But unfortunately, he does get eliminated. We get to meet Patricia. Hopefully, I pronounced her name right. We get to hear of her battle that she was very, very ill. She had to have a transplant. And now she's living her best life, which is beautiful. Uh, we get to meet Vicky. Um, Michael, who is a brick a bricklayer, who was pretty good, I have to admit. It was a, pretty good when they actually see, um, actually see his... Um, um, his desserts and he was pretty cool. We get to meet Ashley who was actually sort of my favorite in the show and he was so cool. Then we got to meet Amy as well and sh her um, cooking was pretty cool, pretty cool. Unfortunately she did get eliminated. Irene was another one of my favorites as well and we saw on the episode that she get she unfortunately got eliminated. A lot of, a lot of stress got to her, but she's still still my favorite. Um, the next person who is Daniel now. I did like him in the first episode, and then as we went through the um most of the season, he got a little bit shady to me. I got with the fact on the on a particular episode. When it was about love and chocolate, like, I get that I'm not a, a romantic type person as well. But throughout the whole rest of the entire, um, season, I thought that he was a little bit smug, to be very honest with you guys. But we're going to continue. So the next one we got to meet was Brogan. Now, Brogan was, she was incredible. I love how she was in the series. She was upbeat. She's a stay-at-home mom, and she's incredible. Like I follow her on Instagram now. I did some of these templates, um, these sort of um, food templates, 
oh, whatever they're bloody called. Something that's going on on Instagram lately. How you circle food and that. So basically that. But anywho, my next favourite definitely was Ali. Ali actually reminds me of a friend of mine who I not only went to high with but I also worked with. And I sent her a message saying she looks like you and she said that it was crazy. And she was my top favourite throughout this entire season. Um, and she was awesome. Now the last person that we got introduced to in this particular series was Kay. And she was a bit of a pain, I have to admit. She was a bit incredibly smug throughout the whole season, just like how Daniel sort of was in the season as well. And I didn't like her for some reason, even though I spoil it to people who have not watched it. But, you know what, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to tell you all the details. But um, she won, and I was a little bit devastated that Ali didn't win. Because I didn't really feel like Kate should have won. Even though she was brought up a lot of times on her presentation. And I personally thought she should have been eliminated. But the best of the best wins, I guess. But overall, this series was incredible. I would love to see a season 2. Um, which is incredible. Um, I actually got to watch this on Netflix because I don't really watch normal TV anymore. And this was actually released in 2006. So, I hope everyone is doing great now who's enjoying their lives. I don't know what everyone's doing lately. I only just photo follow some of them. Some are still making incredible desserts. And the others, we basically don't know. But over overview, this is an amazing series. So, in your country, if you can watch this... Go have a chuck and watch this. It's an amazing show. And on that note, I'm going to head off. Um, just at the start of the video, I'm going to put this as a reminder. Um, I will chuck an annotation at the end of this video to my month talk for this particular month and next month as well. Explaining how my TV series reviews are going to be for the next two months just so I don't have to make a video next month and I can just throw through everything and that's all that's all I think I just screwed that part up but you know what? I don't care I ain't editing this video but anyway guys all of my social media links of course are down below including my website and all the playlist series that I post on my channel of course are all down below and I'll catch you all soon